Tonight on Realtree Global Hunting, we're back in South Africa, in the Bushveld, with a Benjamin Bulldog 357 Big Bore Air Rifle. The all-new Big Bore Rifle from Crossman has taken Diker, a Springbok, three Warthog, but tonight we're looking for Impala. So far, the Benjamin Bulldog 357 has impressed the guys here at Team Wild and experienced big game hunter Gavin Ingram of Nduna Hunting Safaris. The all new Big Boar Hunting Air Rifle from Crossman has certainly lived up to the hype and staked its claim to the Big Boar throne. However, hunting big game with an air rifle isn't easy. Unlike powder burning rifles, range is a critical factor when hunting big game with an air gun. The Bulldog certainly packs a punch, but the novelty designed bullet doesn't carry the same energy as centerfire ammunition. This means I've really got to get close and into a good position, close enough for the Bulldog and Nozzler combo to do the business. And as the game gets bigger, my shooting needs to be perfect. You simply can't afford to pull a shot or miss the vitals on bigger game when you're hunting with an air rifle. This is the challenge of big game air gun hunting and I'm loving every minute of it. It's a windy morning in the hills of Enduna and the hunting here today could bring an additional challenge. When the wind is up, the animals become nervous and skittish. Ordinarily they use their acute senses of hearing and smell to detect predators. However, when the wind is noisily swirling through the trees, their senses are less effective. In conditions like this, they tend to remain in cover. However, we've not been out long when Gavin spots something. Gavin can see movement through the bushveld, but getting into position may not be easy. We head up and over the top using the tree line as cover. Despite the wind blowing, it's still a beautiful day. However, the game remains in thicker cover and avoids the open plains. We spot a group of red hartebeest as they make a break for the top of the hill. We move into position, but we're too far out for a shot and there's very little cover between them and us. An unsettled herd of red hartebeest can spook any animals in the vicinity, so we decide to head on. We head down the valley into the bottom. There's less interference from the wind down here and the animals will hopefully be at ease. These runs and pathways crisscross the entire estate and offer the game safe passage from one plane to another. There's animal tracks everywhere. As we emerge out of the bottom, Gavin has spotted a herd of impala feeding just over the brow of this hill. However, there's very little cover again between us and them. We're a hundred yards out and have no way of getting in closer from here. We hit the deck and crawl around them. There's a tree line to the right of the herd and we should have just enough cover to crawl in from there.
The herd are now on high alert and don't look happy. I get a good ram in my crosshairs, but... Before I can take my shot, the herd make a run for it. After a frustrating morning in the high winds, and then over an hour of crawling into position, 70 yards out from the Impala, and thought we were set. But we've been too eager and moved in too quickly. Our lack of patience has cost us, and the herd have made a run for it. So close, yet so far. This is the challenge of big boar air gun hunting. Your stalking must be perfect so that you can get into a good position. And then your shot placement must also be spot on to take the animal down. Air gun hunting is much less forgiving than with a full bore rifle, but infinitely more rewarding. We've not been successful today, but we'll be back out in the bushveld again tomorrow. To find out more about the incredible Benjamin Bulldog 357, visit crossman.com. To find out more about Realtree Camo products and to join Realtree's global family of outdoors men and women, visit Realtree.com. Follow the links below for more amazing videos from Realtree Global Hunting. Be sure to subscribe to Team Wild TV for the very best hunting videos on YouTube.